Looks like I should. There you go. This is not your average sports tournament. At what is billed as the first ever World Humanoid Robot Games, the athletes come in all shapes, sizes, and structure to compete in events ranging from running to kickboxing to soccer. For three days, human handlers from 16 countries are putting machines through the motions to show the potential of embodied AI as well as its limitations. It isn't about winning or losing, but it's a way to trial the robots in agility, endurance and battery life. Some of the humanoids are competing in more practical job skills, like sorting medicine and hotel concierge duties. That's why a team from Starbot made the trip from California. Their robots work in customer service. Do you think humans are ready to have robots so involved in their daily lives? I think so. Uh, as a matter of fact, our company already works at restaurants and we already have robots providing service to customers and they are welcomed really well. So I think we, perhaps not everyone, but I think we are ready as a, as a society to, to incorporate robots into the environment. The games are meant to showcase how far robotics have come and to provide a window into a future where humanoids are integrated into daily life. But it also reveals how heavily China's government has been backing the development of these technologies to close the artificial intelligence gap with the United States. For years, Beijing has been funneling tens of billions of dollars into AI research and state subsidies, uh, like it did with the electric vehicle industry, making all this a very different kind of race. Videos of robots dancing, punching, and performing have been all over Chinese social media and state TV as the government has deepened its investment here. But the games are the most ambitious promotional push yet that drew a small but curious crowd to watch how next-gen robotics are taking shape. Research published by Morgan Stanley predicts that by 2050, China will have 302.3 million humanoid robots in use, well ahead of the U.S. projection of just 77.7 million. He says when robots like these gain independent thinking and behavior after training, that will be the real AI age. From what we saw here, people are not obsolete quite yet. There were no speed records being set, and many of the athletes, well, they're prone to fizzling and face plants. Yet it's all wired to the real goal for China, getting ahead in the global race for AI domination, one clunky step at a time. Janice Mackey Freyer, NBC News, Beijing. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.